Clint Alexander, PJ Assistant Golf Professional here at Landa Park Golf Course at Comal Springs. Today we have a new episode from our Landa Park newsletter. It's called Ask the Pro. And we're asking you to, to send in uh, questions uh, that you might have about the rules. Today's question is from Elaine. And Elaine's asking about uh, when you're on the green, do you have to mark your golf ball? Uh, Elaine, when you're on the green, you do not have to mark your ball. But uh, Rule 22-2 states, if, a, if your fellow competitor or opponent asks you to mark your ball, you do have to mark it. Uh, the second part of Elaine's question is, uh, if player A and player B are playing together, they're on the putting green, player A hits, uh, hits his golf ball and hits player B's golf ball, is there any kind of penalty? And who incurs the penalty? And is it different in stroke play and match play? Uh, in stroke play, it's 19-5, uh, also in match play. Uh, if player A strikes player's B ball on the putting green, player A incurs a two-stroke penalty, and player A plays his ball as it lies, and uh, player B would replace his ball to the original position. And player B does not incur any penalty. Uh, but in match play, it is different. Uh, match play, uh, if player B, uh, player A hits player B's ball, there is no penalty. Uh, player A plays his ball as it lies, and uh, player B moves his ball back to the original position. Also. I hope that solves your rules questions as far as uh, being on the green and, and marking your ball. I think you should always, it's proper etiquette to mark your ball when you can. Uh, again, uh, we're asking you to send in your rules questions that you might have. Uh, thank you. I'm Quinn Alexander and see you at the course.